Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the 30th. Uh, this is the Daily Vibes. Now, this, this reading is for around the 30th because timing is fluid. This is my second choice. I, I picked up another deck and, and, I, and I started and it was just so distracting. It was so distracting. There was stuff all around the edges, you know, the card and whatever. No. Mm -mm. So I don't know if there's some sort of distractions here. And it's like, no, 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 That's what it's like. No, 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 no. So just, you know, I don't know what is going on, but it just seems like there's very, and it sure is distracting me as well. So I don't know what's going on for for the uh, 30th, but something distracting, okay? There's going to be some distractions. Like I, I feel it strongly. I've been fine all day. So, but I, as I get ready to do a reading, the energies start to come in, okay? So that's what we got going on here. There's going to be some distractions on the 30th. Now, what is it, a Monday? Well, of course it is. Of course it is. Is tomorrow Monday? I don't know. My calendar is still on August. Yeah, I think tomorrow's Monday. Yeah. All right. Um, what do we got? What do we got for the 30th? The world reversed. To the world reversed. This is incomplete. Somebody is feeling incomplete or something is incomplete. It's like it's not over yet. Something it's not over yet. There's a lack of success. And it's funny because the first card that I pulled in the other deck was the Six of Wands reversed. That's a lack of success as well. I only got to two cards. Okay, I got the two cards and by the time I get the second card, I was like, no. So, anyway. So, there's a lack of success here in something. There's no victory. Hmm. The Emperor. We've been getting the Emperor a lot. Now, the emperor, this guy is looking at something that is not successful, obviously. He's looking at it. It's like there's no success here. Mm -hmm. Now, this is somebody who is very structured. Looks like he's really thinking. He's thinking about ending something. He's thinking about uh, doing something, completing a cycle. He hasn't taken action yet, obviously, because it hasn't ended. This guy is thinking about how he's going to handle this situation, whatever it is. He's thinking about it. He's thinking long and hard. He wants to make a very wise decision because if you think about the world, well, there's a lot of people involved. There's a lot of people watching. There's a lot of people that will probably be affected by his decision. So it looks like we got somebody here that is thinking about ending something. He's real close because this is the last card. Very, very, very close to expressing himself, put it that way. Hmm. Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups. Let's get one more. The High Priestess. Well, wow. interesting. Very interesting. So this is a card of, we all know it's a card of wish fulfillment, right? The Nine of Cups. This is a card of satisfaction, wishes, what he's wishes, and it's also a card of ego. So he will have to leave his ego behind and follow his gut, follow his intuition. It's like his intuition, see what's behind him is his ego and his intuition, so we have somebody here, and it could, you know, I don't know. I do think it's a masculine. I do think it is a masculine that um, will have to leave his ego behind and follow his intuition, follow his gut. It's like he's being guided to do something. He's looking at something ending. He Something is about to end, and he knows it. He knows it. He does know it. His intuition has told him that this is just about over. Now, this, this right here, this is a card of ego. It's a card of happiness, abundance. 
Now, but he's going to have to leave something behind because he's not looking at that. He's looking at this. Going to have to leave his ego behind. Now, this is a lesson, but the lesson hasn't been learned yet. Maybe he's thinking about the lesson here. Five of Swords, well, damn, damn, <clears throat> defeated, feeling, being, feeling defeated. We have somebody here that is feeling defeated by something that has reached its full course, right? This person has walked away. Two people, perhaps, have walked away. Three of Wands. Three of Wands is a card of expectations. Getting ready. Somebody is getting ready. Somebody's walked away. Somebody is no longer invested in this guy knows it. He's like this person's no this person's moving. This person is going someplace else. This person has another relationship coming in. Because this is something has arrived for the person that has walked away. This, this person knows it. He knows it. He knows that, you know, something has reached its full course. And he's feeling defeated that somebody has turned their back on him because he may have let his ego and pride get in the way. This is a card of ego and pride, and this is a card of ego and pride. And the emperor is very egotistical. So somebody has definitely let their ego and pride get in the way of something. I mean, the three of wands, that is a ship coming in, a, a relationship. And it's like, I feel like this guy pushed somebody away. They probably got two, another person involved because there's two people here. And now somebody has a new relationship coming in. That's what this is. Not happy at all. See, this guy is loathing. Self-loathing. Discouraged. Losing hope. It's like his dream is slipping away. It's slipping away because of his ego and his pride. And he's watching it happen. He is watching it happen right before his own eyes. There's a lesson to be learned here. That is the world card. A lesson to be learned. But obviously this guy has not learned his lesson yet. Because it's still in reverse. He hasn't graduated. He hasn't learned his lesson. This is still hurting people. Still hurting people. More than one person, two people are being hurt here because of this guy's ego and pride. So this guy is letting a dream slip away. This is this is not a dream come true, right? Lack of lack of faith lack there's hopelessness this guy is feeling hopelessly defeated seven of cups now this is a card of consequences the seven of cups is a card of consequences suffering some sort of consequences because of pride and ego this is the consequences for you know trying to prove a point Ace of Pentacles. This is an opportunity for wish fulfillment. There's a golden opportunity for wish fulfillment here. It's like this is a gift. This is a gift. This guy's not seeing it though because he's not even looking at it. So we have a gift here. A gift perhaps. I mean this person right here, the High Priestess, this is somebody who is um, <clears throat> being very silent, using their power to manifest 
So this somebody has used their power to manifest the new opportunity for wish fulfillment. This guy is suffering the consequences for the betrayal. He still hasn't learned his lesson because that is reverse. So somebody still hasn't learned their lesson. But this person is suffering some sort of consequences because this person has gone through some sort of awakening, a spiritual awakening, and has now manifested another opportunity for happiness. Another option. This person knows that this other that the person that they pushed away has other options. They see it. They know it. They know it. So we got somebody here that has a golden opportunity being presented to them. Two of Wands, this is the moment of decision. At that crossroads. Now this is a card of trickery. Magician reversed. Illusion. We have illusion right here. Both of these. Somebody was living in some sort of fantasy land. This person on this side. I feel like we have two people here. This person knows. This person also knows that they were being lied to, they were being deceived, that they were dealing with a, a very tricky, sly, manipulative individual. It's like this person's been awakened. They've been awakened that they were they were being lied to, they were being deceived. That this person that they were dealing with does not have a good character. It's like now they see now they see that the person that they deal that they were dealing with was very very cunning, deceptive and crafty. They see it. They see that it was just a fantasy. They see that it was just an illusion. This person has now manifested a new opportunity and it's like they've gone through some sort of awakening where they realize where they've been. It's like, boom, shit, I'm awake. So now, this right here, this two of wands, the two of wands is a choice. It's the moment of decision where there's two paths to expand. The two of wands is also fearless. So we have somebody here that is, it's almost like they, they found their strength and they found their confidence to find wish fulfillment someplace else. And they focused their energy and their powers into basically calling in something else. Anyway, this is a new opportunity, something you can actually touch. And it's, if you notice, it's right over here towards this person. It's like, it's like God or the universe is saying, here you go. This is your wish fulfillment. This is what you asked for. This person's been waiting and manifesting. And it feels like now they're receiving something. This is receiving something, an opportunity. So we have somebody over here that is receiving an opportunity for wish fulfillment, for happiness. This person is feeling defeated because they did not take action. And they see that the person that they betrayed has lost faith and has given up on them and is now focused on the future. So I feel as though this emperor is feeling empty inside. That's a feeling of emptiness. It's like the shoe is on the other foot. This this emperor is feeling the loss. He's suffering the consequences of his non-action. 
emperor suffering consequences consequences of his non-action of his trickery of his lack of character there's consequences for that because now there's a golden opportunity for this person that has been alone in seclusion working on themselves this person is now seeing clearly as to who they were dealing with they now see it completely clearly they have been awakened moving on the chariot somebody is absolutely moving on they're moving forward movement mastering their emotions putting themselves in the driver's seat replacing that fear with faith This is a card of movement. Movement. We need to get another card. Oh my God, Six of Swords. This is absolutely moving on. We have somebody here that is feeling defeated and at a loss and feeling empty inside because the person that they betrayed has moved on. They have. They have, they're leaving the, this bullshit behind. They are now in control of their emotions. The person that they betrayed is now in control of their emotions and is in the driver's seat. They are no longer in the driver's seat. The other person that did the betrayal is no longer in the driver's seat. Somebody has basically taken their power back away from <laughs> this very crafty individual. That lacks good character. This person over here ha is feeling really discouraged. Because the, the one that they deceived has is moving or has moved on. But what's going to happen? This is actually taking that passage. This is a this this somebody could be actually getting behind the wheel. Okay, because these are both like vehicles. Somebody could be getting behind the wheel and and heading down the road. You know, getting on the road. <laughs> King of Cups reverse. This is somebody who is very emotional. Somebody that cannot master their emotions. Um, the King of Cups in reversed. This is somebody that is very withdrawn, emotionally withdrawn, very much, you know, not following their heart. Okay, this person is not following their heart, not finding their resources within them to follow their heart. And now they're feeling a complete loss, no doubt. There's there's no love here. There's no love in this cup. It's empty. It's upside down and it certainly ain't holding any love. So there's like no love here. And I feel like we have somebody here. This person has realized that there's that's not love. This person doesn't have love to offer. They were deceived. They were lied to. It was a fantasy. So, you know, some we, we, we romanticize who we want a person to be. This person has realized that what, what it was, it was, you know, who I wanted you to be. Now this person has woken up and has made a decision that they want something solid. They want something better, something bigger than whatever this was. This fuck show. Excuse my language. Not really kind of anyhow um now we got somebody that is getting in the driver's seat seriously this is getting in the driver's seat relocating seven of pentacles this is a somebody's relocating somebody's moving somebody is absolutely moving they're digging up their roots and they're going someplace else 
Somebody is is really going. It's like I'm I'm going some going someplace else. There's no love here. There's no reason for there's no more growth. There's no reason for me to stay. I'm leaving all this baggage, all this trouble behind. So I feel like this is the decision that is being made. Somebody is receiving an opportunity to take the high road out of this situation. There's another option here. There's always another option. And I feel like somebody is is bait this ace of pentacles is as as a new opportunity. Somebody could be really receiving, they could be receiving a gift, they could be receiving some a, a new home or something like that. This is something that you can touch. Somebody's moving anyway. The chariot with the six of swords and the seven of pentacles. This is this is total relocation. They're moving away from somebody that was emotionally unavailable and could not open their heart to them and they were lying to them the whole time. Ties are being severed and we have somebody here that is really unhappy about this guy is unhappy. He is. He's not happy about this loss. There's no victory. There's no success. Feeling empty and lost inside. But it looks like we have somebody here that is, is leaving. Okay, they are leaving. Eight of Swords. Removing that obstacle. Breaking free. Eight of Swords from this trap. Not confining themselves. Somebody is breaking free from a trap. Letting go of the emptiness. Letting go of an empty situation. Definitely severing ties and cutting cords with some sort of illusionary situation that was built on a lie. Lies, illusion, lie. Somebody is about to move forward in a new direction and leave all the baggage and the betrayal behind. So I feel like today is a day of... It's going to be an emotional day as well. I see emotions here with the King of Cups reversed. Or a lack thereof. It could be a cold day. Somebody, you know, this guy is making a decision. He's, he's, he's really thinking. He's thinking about the betrayal. He's thinking about the past. He's thinking about the lack of success. He's thinking about the pain. He's, he's lost all hope. Very discontent. Very, very, very discontent. He lost an opportunity. And he and, and he's he's pretty distraught about it. So I feel like today is a day of unfortunately it's a day of discontent. Because now this man or well, I think it's a man. I do. I mean, I do. I just, I, I'm masculine, okay? If you're in a same-sex relationship, don't, you know, you guys got to use your, use, don't take it personally. You know, when I say man, if you're in a same-sex relationship, you know, he, fix it up. Same with woman, whatever. Anyway, um... We, this is a lost opportunity. This is a lost opportunity for love. This person wasted their time thinking about it. And now the op now it's too late. It's too late. And, and now they're, I think now they're upset. They're upset because they're not getting any more attention. It's like now even if they did offer their love, the person wouldn't accept it. It's too late. Their character has already been shown. It's too late. 
So I feel like we have somebody here that knows it's too late. They know it's too late and they're frustrated. So I feel like today is a day of, what is the overall energy for the day? The overall energy of the day is acceptance. That is that it's time to focus on the future and not the past. It's time to move forward and just hope for the best. It's time to complete this cycle once and for all. So I feel like today we have a masculine that is making a complex decision. He may offer an offer. He may he may find his nobility. The emperor is very noble. He may find his nobility or his ability to make one more offer. It's kind of funny because that hand is covered. Then we have a hand coming out here. He may extend one more offer and hope for the best. He may. Will he? I don't know. This is a golden opportunity to have wish fulfillment. Somebody's gut is telling them what to do. But pride and ego have been in the way. And I think the door is just about closed. Good luck.